Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Gatherin No Known Jakuzor statue. The pronunciation is somewhat to be debated. Uh, no known, or no noun, as some people have pronounced it as well, is from the Kill La Kill uh, anime series. Spot picked this up from the folks over at E2046.com. You probably have seen me do videos of these before. Uh, E2046 sells a lot of anime uh, statues. And one of the categories that they have is the gathering. Essentially what that is, the gathering are uh, are versions of the statues that are pre-painted. One, one of the apprehensions I have of even really getting into the realm of collecting statues are the ones that I have to paint myself. Spot has zero abilities at painting statues. So luckily the folks over at E2046 have the gathering and the gathering do the painting for you. Uh, box, if you've seen again previous videos, the boxes are exactly the same, a black box, and you've got Gathering on the front there. Beside the box, you've got Jakuzor or Nonan, the other way around there, pre-painted statue. This is, I guess, PF9334 is your product code. And the other side there is the Gathering. Um, not really much to be said for the box itself. Obviously, what we are going to be looking at is the statue inside. So Spot's going to take himself a break and get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the gathering non-own or no-noun from the Kill La Kill series. It's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. To come included with no-known, essentially, she... There's really very little assembly, and actually, if you have watched other videos that I've done of gathering pieces, there's a lot more components. Components. No Known, on the other hand, only really comes with the display stand, the statue, and uh, like an assembly guide. But the assembly guide is so straightforward. I mean, again, you only have two components. Component one is the statue. Component two is the base. And there's the image there of what the statue will look like. So we can just put that to the side. Based from that assembly instructions, we can take the peg on the underside of No Known's uh, leg and we just want to attach it. There's a little hole right there and we're going to just slide that into place just, just like that. Just kind of wiggle that in place until it, she has a proper footing and there you have the completed statue. Just in case you're wondering, there's nothing on the underside. There's no uh, rubber feet or anything like that. but. Ideally, if you're going to not be moving the statue around, you don't really have to worry that it's going to be scraping anything. All right, so let's have a look at this spectacular looking piece. Again, this comes to us from uh, the gathering. So the gathering would have gone and painted this for you. And I got to say, like the job that they did is not something I could have done myself. Uh, coloring on, no, no. I mean, there's really not much in the way of coloring. Primarily, she is a pale looking character. Uh, and then she's got the pink hair. The majority of her outfit is just primarily black. They really haven't ac accented that much at all. But I think I would have almost preferred it a more neutral black color than giving it some highlights and shadows and stuff like that. I'm sure I don't have to stress the fact that uh, the statue may not be to everybody's liking. And certainly younger uh, collectors, younger viewers out there may not feel that this is... Uh, a suitable, so to speak, collectible. But again, like this is more geared towards the, the more adult uh, anime collectors on the market. Uh, let's have a look at her face. We'll just kind of bring the camera up slightly and zoom in there. You can see that she's wearing a skeletal hat. A little bit of that white from the skull really does add to the overall impressions of the character. I think her face is quite pretty. The pink color that they've given her as well. And hopefully you can see it. It's not all primarily, it's not all that one pink color. There's a little bit of that lighter pink that they've then transitioned into the darker pink color. And that is actually very apparent for not only the back of the hair, but also some of the strands as well that have that lighter airbrushing in there, which is really nice. Um, the face, very again, very pretty. She's got the pink eyes. And this is not something that I could really accomplish, is the painting of the eyes, where you've got that little bit of reflection 
the darker areas of the iris as well has been painted in there and a very bold outline of the eyebrows and eyelash areas really accent this this statue quite a bit uh, as i mentioned though like the statue is very pale very very pale indeed and luckily at least they haven't reverted to simply just painting it or just like leaving a lot of the areas as as very pale as it is they have gone in and they've airbrushed areas around the creased like creased areas of the elbows uh, the areas where the the torso would have twisted and they've also airbrushed areas around the abdomen section there as well Now, Spot has covered, just trying to think of all the other gathering statues we've had a look at on this channel. Of course, one of my personal favorites was the Bayonetta. Um, so again, something I could not have painted at all. And we also had a look at the Pyramid Head as well. The, the Pyramid Head was a beautiful piece. I still actually have that out on display. It's one of my personal favorites, probably because I have, again, a soft spot for Pyramid Head. Spot will put the link down below to E2046. Um, again, it's a website where you can pick up anime statues. You can either go the route of uh, getting the statue unpainted, which is an option if you guys are masters of uh, paint, which again, sadly, I am not. But uh, then you can go to the section. And actually, right at the top corner of their website, you can you can sort it by category. And if you sort it by gathering, you're you're basically being, you're seeing all the statues that they have available that are already pre-painted. So they've certainly, like individuals like myself, a lot of stress, because again, I could not have painted this whatsoever. If you guys are interested in picking this particular piece up for yourself or any number of the other pre-painted statues, head over to www.e2046 and you can pick this up for yourself. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the no-known uh, Jakuzor from Kill La Kill. Certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots and other statues heading your way. As always, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.